Let's clear it out real quick. Yeah, okay. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Alrighty, folks. Welcome back to the shop. We are done with LS Fest. We got back all good. We're here at the shop. I'm sitting here, and we have so many crazy things coming up. We have Cletus and Cars in Houston on October 20th and then two weeks after that we have World Cup Finals which is an event that has like 30,000 spectators it's probably the most serious race of the year and we actually entered Leroy into it so we're in Wild Street we'll be racing against all-wheel drive Civics that run like 760s and I think the whole field Runs like 750s to 80s, so basically when we go up to World Cup Finals, which is in Maryland, the end of October, beginning of November, we have to have Leroy running minimum of 790s every pass. Like, we have to get him to the point where 7s is all he runs. Low 8s will not cut it up there, which is crazy. Cooper, we're going to need every bald eagle possible. We're going to really have to try to squeeze them all out of here. <laughs> every bald eagle possible. And we're also thinking... I don't know, you guys have probably all seen the videos where a lot of the racing teams there get their own team jerseys and they have like crazy logos all over them. So we're thinking we're going to get our own made with bald eagles all over them because, you know, why not? So yeah, Leroy's racing World Cup right after Cletus and Cars Houston and then right after World Cup we come back to Florida and we have Cletus and Cars Bradenton, Florida which is November 10th. So we have three of our biggest events of the year right in a row, it's gonna be crazy. And I'll put the details for all those event pages in the description below so you can check them out. Hopefully you guys can hit them. They're gonna be a blast. We'll be selling shirts at each one, bringing our cars to each one, doing it for Dale at each one. It's gonna be sick. Holly will be at each one. But in other news, this next week is also pretty hectic. We're actually gonna to fly to Houston and pick up Hopefully a limo and another car for Cooper, most likely a Saturn, for the demolition drag racing, which is in Houston, October 20th. We want to get that done soon and then go check out the track and see what the layout is. The part about Cletus and Cards Houston I'm most excited about is we're actually going to have our own burnout pad. So we can basically do Australian style burnout. So we're going to have 20 cars that are able to pre-register by emailing Houston Raceway and I'll put that email below. There will be 20 people in the burnout contest. Uh, you just have to pay a $20 buy-in and you can win $2,000 for the best burnout at Cletus and Cars Houston. And then for the demolition drag racing, we're letting in 30 cars. So if you want to do demo drags, all you need is a cheap car. You don't care about beating up. You need a helmet and a freaking fire jacket and you're pretty much good. And you have to pre-register for that too. So you'll have to email Houston Raceway Park if you want to be in demo drags or the burnout contest. Both are going to be freaking epic all in one day. So we're going to go to Houston hopefully in the next two weeks but also we have a visit to the other side of the coast and i can't give you guys any new details right now but it's a totally new build that we're going to be doing and it's going to have hybrid power so two types of power i i can't even get into details because if i tell you just a, a tiny little detail you guys will go off and you'll figure it out immediately it's gonna be incredible though. By far, will be maybe even the coolest project we'll ever do. So, leave it off there, but let's go in the shop, check out what we have going today. Hopefully, we either get to dyno the Dale truck today, we might dyno it tomorrow, but we're gonna take it for a drive. We're figuring out our tire situation right now, and I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be intense. Also, I just wanna say these green Cletus hats are on the website now, and they are so freaking sick they even say hell yeah brother on the back they match the color of your bartle skeet for extra freedoming so guys what you're about to see may startle you and trust me i didn't want to have to do this didn't want to have to do it but but it's the only thing that made total sense so these are the tires from the dale truck right they're a slick really nice tire but these are dry rotted these are some old ones and even on the newer slicks the compound of the tread is super super hard i mean these are supposed to last i don't know how many laps but they're supposed to last 
quite a few laps at 200 miles an hour. So the tread's pretty tough. We've jack raced the Dale truck before. It spun the tires when it had 400 horsepower. So now imagine with probably over 600. So we wanted to find a DOT tire that we can drive on the street and take the truck drag racing or do half mile, anything like that and it just wasn't gonna work out to run like a set of takeoffs from you know a recent race or anything like that. So what we did is we actually bought some street tires. This is a drag radial tire. These tires are the same height width everything as the tires that came on the Dale truck, but they don't say Goodyear on the side and I feel like that kind of made the truck. So what I'm about to show you is truly letting a rip tater chip. We had to do what we had to do. James? What do you got going over here? Pretty sure the most patriotic ricer thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> it's truly the most patriotic <laughs> ricer thing we've ever had to do, guys. So what's happening right now is James is freaking gluing on tire stickers to our new drag radials so that the tires say the exact same thing that they did when the truck raced in the truck series. But now we have a sick drag radial that we can drive on the street with, not get in trouble with the police, and go to the track and have a good tire. So we measured the letters and everything on the old tires and ordered them to the exact same spec, you know, width, height, everything like that. And we're putting them on right now. They look a little bit goofy at first because they're such a bright yellow, but after rubbing some brake dust on the other side, I'll show you in a minute, they actually turned out pretty good. We didn't want to have to do this, guys, but it was our best option. Ready? Ta-da! Literally looks the exact same as it did before well there's a jack on the other side so the tire is kind of tucked back here but for the most part the dale truck looks exactly like it used to you can see we kind of dirtied them up to make them look a little bit more legit like they've been on there for a little bit when we first put them on they were so bright yellow i just couldn't stand the ricer look but how sick is this guys we have tires that look pretty much like the original truck series tires but we have a dot drag radial underneath the dale truck now it definitely wasn't something that i wanted to do i mean who wants to put freaking tire stickers on any tires i guess some people do but not really our style but we had to do what we had to do and it actually turned out pretty good a lot better than i thought it would at least so dale truck is going to be good to go on a drag radial for when we put this thing on the dyno later today hopefully or tomorrow and when we want to drive it on the street. Once James is finished ricering it up over here, damn, you're really you're really getting in there. Yeah, I don't want him to fling off while I'm doing a burnout, <laughs> so I'm applying so, all this super glue. So once James is done gluing our freaking drag radials, we're gonna take the truck out for a drive and see if it hooks up. This is a little bit unfortunate, guys. Look at that. See the gap there? That's because our air filter is not even close to fitting and we're not gonna cut the hood on this thing because that's just not cool. We do have a shorter filter. I'm gonna try that, but we're probably gonna have to run it raw. Yeah. There's no other way. Filterless. Maybe we can get like a screen, put it around it. All right, so James and I are fishing up some pinouts on the Dale truck. And this is funny because the Dominator system, the Holly Dominator in this, there's so many things and ways and how you can set things up. So right now I have the fans triggered just off the throttle position, just so we could see if our pinout is working, so watch this. <laughs> There's so many things you could do to this, like you could literally set up your boost by your blinker. Like if every time your blinker blinks, it goes up a pound of boost. <laughs> the possibilities are so endless with this thing. It's, it's actually hilarious. Some of the guys at Holly were telling us that people run their own greenhouses using Holly dominators, like what you'd put in your race car. That's what they run their greenhouses with. You know, the technology is there. Pretty amazing. So we're gonna change those around. The fans will now kick on when it hits like, say 170 degrees water temp. Since there's two fuel pumps, we have the other fuel pump kicking on at 50% throttle. So only one fuel pump runs while we're cruising around. Oh, the, the two-step. So that'll just have a button on the bottom of the pedal. When you push the pedal all the way down, the two-step will turn on and that's that. All right, so I think we have the two-step pinned in. We're gonna start the truck real quick. James is gonna hit the switch, which he has in his hand. And uh, it, in theory, should rev only to 1200 RPM is what I have it set at. In the future, we'll send it a lot harder than that. But for now, ready? Are we in neutral? A 
attempt number two. And I raised it to 2,000 so we can clearly hear it. I'll, I'll work the throttle. Ready? Yeah. She shot fireballs. That's aggressive. Like, like big fireballs. Oh, let's do that again. Hold on. <laughs> this big like huge Woo! the Dale truck oh my god we should light a piece of cardboard on fire That's very good. should we try it it needs to be a pretty steady flame though if it's gonna start something on fire dude that's intense yeah and that's at 2,000 rpm imagine when we get it, it at it starts popping and shaking the whole truck dude imagine when we get that sucker at 4,500 or, or 7,000 <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ah, the Dale truck, always taking it to the next level. I want to see what it feels like with drag radials. On the slicks, it was really loose. The radial tire should be a little bit tighter, but we should have a lot of grip, so I really want to take it out for a quick drive. Oh, I also wanted to note that the best part of all of this, and you guys heard me talk about getting a diff locker in this thing last week, is that it is now in. We got it in before LS Fest, but I didn't really have time to talk about it because we were in such a rush, but Dr. Differential, they hooked us up with a true track for this thing. Same locker that is in the Crown Vic. I'll actually throw a link to their Facebook page in the description if you guys want to check out their page. But when we go out to rip the Dale truck here in a minute, it will spin both tires, not just one. Well, I don't know if it'll spin now because it's got some freaking meat under it, but we'll see. James, did you see the meat with the hood open? Yeah, it's, it's, it's beefy. It's there. beefy. Damn, I am not having second thoughts anymore about putting a drag radial on the Dale truck. That is so sick. Holy crap. Damn, dude, it looks so beefy. It's hot as hell in here, man. You gotta stay hydrated. Get your bottle skate. There you go, there you go. We're gonna fuel this thing up, but then I'm gonna do some tuning while James drives. God. They fade in the sun. Because all the stickers on the truck are faded. So once the tires kind of fade in, they still look spot on. Alright, James. Can you handle the freedom? We're gonna let the freedom sink. Oh man, you're you're Pretty much gonna get the first pull in this thing. I don't know if I've ever sat over here. Like while side. driving. I don't think I've ever been over here. Ooh. I like this little laptop pedestal I get. Convenient, right? All right, so right now we have the second fuel pump coming on at 80% throttle. We have a pretty decent spark table in the truck. It's nothing too exciting. It's not like ridiculously aggressive. The fuel, I think is close, but we've never done a pull with the engine in the truck. So you're gonna have to let it rip. See what it does fuel wise, make some adjustments. And then honestly, we'll just do some burnouts, have some fun. The truck will be ready for Jeremy tomorrow.
nice job. Yeah. Good driving. Holy hell, dude. It's it's good when it's under power, but you definitely feel the NASCAR come out when you get out the gas. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you slowing down and I was trying to turn left on you. Yeah. I think that's a brake thing too. Yeah. Instead of, I feel like I feel like the front left is the braking. First to go. It's braking the second you touch the brakes, it wants to pull you left. Yeah. Look at James out here, going full savage mode. Jesus, James. It's just the spirit <laughs> within these bald eagles. We were letting her rip. God. <laughs> Holy crap. We were letting her rip. Dude, I want to take Cooper for a ride in this thing. He's gonna love it. This thing is so fast. Dude, air fuels were, well, they were close. The Holly was definitely helping us out, doing some closed loop compensation. You got her revved all the way to 6,800, dude, that's weak. Well, you gotta going, pump those numbers up, James. Going by the tack and it was at like seven when I shifted first Hold to on. second. Hit, hit the switch up. No, hit the switch on the tack up. This? Yeah. Yeah, oh, see, it I says see. 74. It says 74. Oh, no, it says on... Oh! It says on here you got a 7,500 yeah, RPM. Okay, say, all right. I ran around pretty far. Yeah, far I, was, I was only looking at uh, second gear. We were running out of room in second, <laughs> so I figured I'd worry about stopping. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. We were letting her rip. I heard you guys a little bit. Dude. Not quiet. Was it quiet? Yeah. Damn, maybe we need to loud it up. Didn't even wake Holly. Dude, you got to ride this thing. It's so fast. It's so fast. It gets it now? Probably Way much, faster probably than I better. thought it'd be. Yeah, and it's hooking. <laughs> oil pressure was good. We had like plenty of oil pressure, 60 PSI. And the fuel pressure was ripping the whole time. It's weird that we don't have a fuel pressure regulator that's controlled by boost, you know, because like our normal, on all of our cars, all our fuel pressure rises boost. with the boost level, but there's no boost, so. Oh. That just stays the same the whole pass, but we're at like 45% duty cycle, so we can use the rest of our fuel system for nitrous. <laughs> That's going <your> shot. <laughs> Dude, it's so fast though. Oh ripping. my god. Uh, oh yeah. I need to do a burnout to test if these will stay on. Yeah, I want to go for a ride in this thing. You want to rip? Yeah. Let's yeah, go. It's a rip tater chip. It's settled. It's a ripper. We know. We now we now know. Alright, we have a little bit of fan mail, so we're gonna do a couple items before this video ends. This one for sure, the seven second wonder of the world. Gotta do that. It says seven second wonder of the world. Yeah, who could that be? <laughs> Leroy. This must be for Leroy. Latest. I'd like to start off by saying congrats on the first manual GM in the sevens, like roller. Followed every inch of the way. It's your friend Chris Mayo from Massachusetts again. I sent the sun drop bottle. I think we still have that somewhere. Watch the Burnout Patrol series closely. We all wish we had one. I started off my career with a Crown Vic and have moved to an SUV Interceptor. Okay, it's a little bit quicker, but it doesn't take a beating like the old Crown Vic. We shot for some uniforms at the end of the year and sprung an idea. I saw a lot of guys from the military reach out and send flags, so I figured I'd let you know you have fans on the blue side. I had something made for you and hope you like it. If you ever get to Mass and are up for it, I'd love to trade you a ride along for a ride along. Well, that'd be cool. Keep up the awesome content. All right, thank you, Chris Mail. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Oh. Look at this. 
at this. Thanks, it says, to say. the state of Florida, hell yeah, brother, burnout patrol. <sighs> Dang. Wow, you get pulled over wearing that, you are free to go. <laughs> I get pulled over <laughs> after doing like a huge burnout in the Vic. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> burnout patrol. <laughs> Damn, shout out to Chris Mayo. Thank you, man. That's awesome. Yeah, that is cool. I think we should open that big one down low. That? Yeah, I think... It... That's wrong. No, no. The middle. That, yeah. That that James has his hand on. I want to open this one, too. That one does look cool, too. We have so much that we're going to do in the coming days, so stay patient. If you sent in fan mail, we're going to start getting through it. Instead of doing just one binge fan mail video, we're just going to start... I like this idea. Start trying to do them regularly. <laughs> Do like three or four each day, hopefully. Try and knock them out. That's fragile, just like Holly. Well, it's just like Holly. It's so fragile. Such a fragile beast. All right, what do we got here? Huge fan, congrats on being the first GM six shift in the sevens. I got bored at work and made this for you. It'll look good in the shop. Also threw in a few keychains. Get Leroy fired up and go even faster. Hell yeah, brother. Johnny Mulholland. All right, let's see what we got here. A couple keychains, he said. Mm -hmm. I have keys. Keychains do add horsepower. They got laser etched glass. Leroy keychains. That's cool. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Yeah. I think we've got. Oh, I see. Oh man, this similar some design. Serious, some serious packaging. That thing's thick. Damn. You can only assume this is a larger version of laser etching. I don't want to edge it myself. Yeah, I did say. Careful. Oh, it did say friends out. Yeah. I think you're opening it with a dull knife. Ooh! Oh, dang! With the time and everything, that's sick. Dude, that's so cool! Wow, that's really that sick. That is awesome. Wow. I bet if we put like lights on it, it would look sick. Yeah, I'm probably. Damn! First stick shit, first GM stick car in the sevens. That's really cool. Dude, we have the best fans. Yep. That's sick. What was this guy's name again? Yeah, did, I wish Johnny he... Mulholland. Thank you so much. Did he say where he works? That he makes these? I, I feel know. like didn't say. People are gonna want these. Freaking sick! What the heck? Another big box here. This one's quite large, and if you look at the packaging, looks like it got pretty intense. We got about six or seven different boxes going here. I respect it. That's how I package things. <laughs> it's <laughs> good news. It's a puzzle to see. Cut all the tape. It's a puzzle. Oh. <laughs> Goodness, dude. Oh, he's looking at you, laughing. <laughs> she, she, Wait, sent, at me. she sent this in. Ooh. Dear Cleese, congrats on the world record and the amazing achievement of being the first. Six of GM in the sevens is definitely an accomplishment. Hell yeah, brother. I work at Splitter Specialties and we build wicker ball kits and such. I don't have the ability to do metal work, so I reached out to Welch's Chop Shop in Tennessee and had them work their magic. I hope you're. I hope you enjoy the achievement and the trophy. You, Leroy Cooper, and everyone in your corner definitely deserves the record. Again, congratulations. Thank you for keeping my interest in cars alive. Below are some photos of my toys. Oh, he's got a wide body C6 orange paint. It's like a new ZR1 color. And he's got, oh, is that a turbo oh. truck? Oh, it is, yeah. He has a six liter LS in his F-150 oh. with a 76 millimeter turbo. Nice. I respect it. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. I'm excited to see what this guy said. Be careful with it. Here, he's the knife cut things i'm excited cooper cut things cut things with this here. yeah please i mean goodness who the hell <laughs> holy cow this he's so probably seen you struggle at cutting things open so figure why make it easy on him Sick. oh i don't know what it is but it's red white and blue oh dude wow what it even says it on the base oh my god wow that's really sick what Look at that! Though. That thing's so that's, cool. That's oh my crazy. god, it says congratulations, 780. Wait, you gotta hold it against like that wall because it's like... Yeah, can you even uh, see it? Yeah, you can with the white oh background. Oh my god, dude, look at that. Look how it's raised off. Yep. First six of GM in the sevens. Wow, that's really impressive metal work. Look, it's, it even got faster bombs cut out. Yep. And right down there, dude, you guys are amazing. Like, you guys are incredible. This is one of the coolest things. I mean, all this stuff is so cool. Thank you very much to Drew Mungo. Dude, this is so sick. Yeah. Even like the wheels and everything are like... Yeah, look at you the guys look at the wheels and then are the turbos. best. That is so sick. We'll have to get a shot of everything. Yeah. In a minute. That Damn. thing's so sick. Dude, well, 
I'm so excited to see what's in tomorrow's. Yeah. Like that's that's the first three fan mail things we opened. They're all about the seven second Can, can we please open that one? This one right here. <laughs> this one? Yeah, open that one. Okay. Watch out, it's fragile. Yeah. Oh, oh grab the knife. <sighs> Let's get this thing opened. <laughs> like, Alright guys, enough of that. <laughs> You're not really gonna open me, are you? <laughs> this one. This one right here. This one? Yeah. It says Mountain Dew Bobber Cooler on it. What? And it... Get your hands, Cooper. <laughs> Trusted you. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> that is the best cooler ever. We literally get the best fan mail, dude. We get the best fan mail. So I'm going to bring ice up to you. Oh, it's got a little handle on top. <laughs> Ice chest. Yes. Can we turn that into the ice box? <laughs> we could. Yeah, we can. Can we get a, a pump in this thing? Yeah. <laughs> How many gallons do you think this is? Probably about the same as yours. Can we seal it and make the top come off. We could probably yeah. fit two bags of ice in it. Dude, that is the funniest thing. What? Well, you can see we got a little oh, handle yeah. oh. so we can bring ice to you. <laughs> The ice shovel. <laughs> we'll just use it for ice. Yeah, like we'll just we'll put like a hole and we'll just use it to pour ice in the Leroy. Well, Coley Thomas from Virginia, thank you very much, you legend. Dude, we got the best fan mail today. Yeah, this is we awesome. We got the burnout patrol badge. You know what you need for this? Is you need one of those cop wallets that has the spot. Oh yeah, a little wallet. flip open. So when you get pulled over doing a burnout, you just flip it open to this. Yeah. That's yep. Sick. All right. That's it for today. Got some good stuff. All right, guys. Dino tomorrow with the Dale truck. Hopefully all goes well. We got close today. So for now, thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will see you later.